Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE Proliant DL360 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're gonna focus on how to update your BIOS. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the HPE Proliant DL360 Gen 11 server. Do this a favor, find anything in this video helpful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. This video is gonna be specifically dedicated to how to update the BIOS on your server. I actually recommend a video later in this series that's called Mass Updates, where we're gonna update the BIOS, the firmware, plus a bunch more, but this will be how to update the BIOS. Let's get into the fun stuff. The first thing we wanna do is download the BIOS update file and then drag it onto a USB drive. This file is what we're gonna to use to actually update our BIOS. So we just go into Google or to a web browser in general and search Rufus, download the program and run it once it is downloaded. Plug the USB into the computer that you downloaded Rufus on and under the device in Rufus, make sure the USB drive is selected. If you only have one USB drive plugged into your machine, it will be selected by default. Leave everything under the default settings, then click the select button and choose the ISO file that we downloaded in the previous steps. Click start to begin creating the installation USB drive. And once you have that moved onto a USB drive, you can go ahead and plug it into your server and then power it on. During post, we want to go ahead and press F9 so we can enter into System Utilities. Once we're inside of System Utilities, we want to scroll down and click on Embedded Applications. And inside of Embedded Applications, we want to click on Firmware Update. And then now we want to click on System ROM. Now we want to select Select Firmware File then file systems on attached media and then our media devices will be displayed so we have one usb drive currently plugged in as you can see right here this is the usb drive that we downloaded our update file onto so we want to go ahead and click on our storage device and then now we want to click on the bios update file now the last thing we want to do to get our update to start is scroll down and then click on start firmware update. You'll get a dialog box just stating that the update will take a few minutes. We want to click on OK and doing so will start our update. It will take a bit of time so we will go ahead and fast forward and then pick back up once it's done. Once the update is complete, we will get a dialog box that says that the firmware update has been completed successfully, so we can click on OK. So now we just want to go all the way back to the root screen of the system utilities menu. And then we can scroll down and click on reboot the system. And there you have it. That's how you update your BIOS. As I said earlier in the video, it is not very difficult to do. It is very straightforward. And if you followed the steps that I showed in this video, then you would have no issue. If you're looking to purchase any HPE servers, we have plenty of stock. If you're looking for anything else, whether it's Dell, Supermicro, IBM, and Cisco, we have that as well. If you're looking to purchase any individual server components, such as CPUs, memory, hard drives and solid state drives, RAID controllers, network cards, whatever you can think of, we got it. Send an email to sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by.